three under two. So we're starting our day here at Mount Shank. So Mount Shank is a dormant volcano near Mount Gambia and we've just hiked to the rim. And we're gonna keep on exploring. This is the track down into the center of the crater and as you can see it's not well maintained and that's why there is a sign up the top saying um, do not enter track is not maintained obviously but we're going to get to the center of this crater not far now it's just down there yep this is just stunning. I don't know, there's just something else about being down here. In a dormant volcano. All right, that down there is the center and it's not far away. And this is why I guess that it's closed off. Like you could barely see the track. Um, it's so narrow through here, but we are going the right way and have a look at that. So not far now, we are just about right in the center and there should be a little bit of a clearing, which I can see now and we are there. So this is what's in the middle of the crater right now and that there is the crater wall and I've got to tell you this feeling just to feel so small standing in the bottom of this crater gee it's something else man this is a volcano like, you know, I don't know when last time this erupted or when or whatever, but this is an unbelievable feeling. All right, now to get back because everyone else made their way down and I said that I can do this in 10 minutes, maybe 20. So time to head back to the car. Yep, the struggle. It's real right now, but that's what you get when you try and push yourself to do something. Wow. Most of the way up the crater, then I've got to follow the rim to the path and then take the path down. Fire out. All right, let's go. I 
don't know if you can see that, but that there looks like a brown snake. Holy cow, I'm glad I've seen it. Oh, far out. Oh, shit. It does not look happy to see me. So I know that snakes have poor hearing, but what they do have, they've got sensors on their stomach that allow them to feel vibrations in the ground. So I was stamping my feet to vibrate the ground to make myself look like a bigger animal. And the snake did what I thought it would, which turned around and went down uh, the crater, which was good because the last thing I need is to be held up for a long time. <coughs> but we are halfway down the side of the mountain. So we'll be back in the car pretty soon. And now we made it here to the Little Blue Lake. So we've made our way to Port McDonnell and it's a beautiful coastal town. We're gonna to let the kids out, play on the playground and we might even pick up some lunch here. This will probably last half an hour. That's really cool, they've got a smoker. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want to support the channel, click the like button below. And if you want to see even more content, check out our Instagram, which is three underscore under two.